We're heading to Alaska tonight. We're getting on a red eye, except we get there at like midnight. We are headed there right now, and actually. We're about to go to the airport. Let's go. Okay, we're off to the airport. Got our bags. We're off to the races. We're good. You ready? I'm ready. I'm honestly as ready as I could ever be. All right, we were here eight days ago. It's honestly been a little bit of a streak, but the streak is coming to an end. Come home for like eight days. What did we do? We went to Texas and then came back for eight days. Went to New York, went to Ohio, came back for eight days, and now we're off to Alaska. <laughs> Okay, we're infamous for showing up at the airport 20 minutes before we have to take off. So we're making it out. We're in a hotel that is a total sack of shit. It was really expensive. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out La Quinta of Anchorage. <laughs> and the $371 that it took to stay here. <laughs> Seriously, for such a dump. Morning, everybody. We uh, we made it to Alaska. We're in Alaska. We got in at like 1 a.m. Um, it was really beautiful though. It was light out and we were the driving at like time. sunset. Either sunset or sunrise. <laughs> sunset. sunset. So beautiful. But yeah, we're in Alaska. We crashed at a hotel just by the airport and now we're going to pick up our rental car. We have eight days here. It's like honestly gonna be stacked with venture. We're going salmon fishing. We're going deep sea halibut fishing and on the last day of our trip is probably the most exciting thing we're not gonna actually say because you're gonna have to um, but you have to wait for it yeah you're gonna have to and wait for it worth it i promise it's something that i've literally wanted to do my whole life and it's definitely like a check what is it bucket bucket list thing you're so checking something off your checking list. yeah checking something off i'm really excited yeah we don't know what to expect i see some mountains over there i did wake up at 3 40 a.m because people were talking outside and i looked at the clock and there was light shining through and i literally woke willow up and i was like oh my god wake up it's four o'clock i thought we slept through the afternoon and it was literally 3 30 in the morning so with that we'll that was fun soon. let's go get a rental car we're going full rugged Alaska. Got the vest. You know I'm not fucking around when you see Bex in a vest. <laughs> you ready? We rented on Turo, which we've never done before. We wanted a Jeep. Getting the keys. <laughs> I was told that they came what is that? in foil because it actually so that the car would unlock. <laughs> but the bag has been secured. There we go. Look at this bad boy. This is gonna be ours for the week. All right, locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Yeah, like driving, we're about to take this bitch off. I feel like driving a Jeep always feels like I'm driving a toy. <laughs> Honestly. And also, love that we are currently averaging a solid seven miles a gallon. So, Sick. There's that. <laughs> okay, now we're off to find a Starbucks because, well, priorities. Um, and we're really tired from getting in super late. And then we're driving to Homer. How long of a drive is it? Six hours? Five hours. Five hours to Homer. My childhood best friend lives there. She has a yurt farm. <laughs> so we've never been up to visit. So we're gonna be here. We're not staying there. We got an Airbnb, but we're really excited. So let's do it. this water behind us like what is even that so pretty what the heck i want to jump in would you do it no i wouldn't but you would, I would. <laughs> 10 to 20 inches of pure <laughs> satisfaction is their motto perfect for me perfect for me <laughs> that's what she said Okay 
guys, it's literally 10.30 at night. We went grocery we shopping. Essentials. And it's also literally blue sky and light out. I don't even understand how this is possible. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> Good morning from Alaska. It's our first like official morning here and we're going fishing. I've never been fishing before. Never really had interest, but Will is really excited. So I guess I'm excited, but I guess I didn't pack the right clothes. I wasn't given like a proper list and because I didn't know, you don't know what you don't know. So I put on my cutest fit that I had. Let me just show you. I came out, let's see, I'll set this up right here. Okay, so I'm wearing nice little puffer boots. And just like, I look cute. So then I come out and Willow's like dressed to the nines. Just wait until you see what he's wearing for this fishing day. Okay, this is Willow. Wait, where's the hat? Go with the, the hat, hat made the thing. The hat didn't make it today. Oh my God, Willow. We're okay. ready, we're well, locked you, and loaded. still look Today's more official. Goal, catch a fish. What kind of fish? Ideally a salmon. I would even take a trout. I would take a halibut. I'll take whatever the fuck you get. <laughs> I would even take a fucking crab. I don't even know. <laughs> but something is coming up, coming home with me today. So our good friend lives here in Homer and they luckily have a boat they're taking us out, which is cool because we're getting like the, the local, local OG experience. So let's go. Well, the Jeep is honestly holding up. Great. Just our quick view on the drive to go fishing. How beautiful. Okay, Willow just spotted a moose. We've been First looking for moose. a moose the whole time. We're gonna go drag it down because it's fucking huge. Okay, you can barely see him, but he's right there. But you can see his huge antlers. But then there's another one too. You can, you can stop right here. Maybe not. Oh, nope. Have you ever seen a moose eat a pickle? What? Have you? No. I ain't seen one today. What does that mean? No problem. A pickle? They like eating pickles? Yeah. Really? Okay, locked and loaded. Got a Carhartt and a raincoat. Now we're more set up. So we're going right down there. That little boat right there. Cute. And we're going out. Hi. Hi. From the Dalian, soy sauce. We're back at our Airbnb now and we're cooking up our salmon. We made it. Do you think that I caught this one or you? I caught two. I, I do think that you caught this I one. caught this one. Look at that. So beautiful. Thank you for your life. Thank you for feeding us. What do we have here? So uh, the Airbnb that we're staying at actually has a huge greenhouse, large enough that it has a tree inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we just went and picked up. Fresh asparagus. asparagus, dill, shallots, and a lemon. Did we get the lemon from the greenhouse? The lemon did not come from the greenhouse, but I thought it would look nice. So it does look I beautiful. Went, First dinner in Alaska that we made and caught with our bare hands. How cool is that? Honestly, so cool. So cool, looks so good. Day two, day two full day in Alaska, and we are just exploring. We rented a sick Jeep, so we're like trying to find some things we're to get into. We're trying through to try and find a lake, currently past it, but trying to find a alternate route. But it is seriously so stunning. So even just driving around and like getting lost is like the best day ever. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> We have no idea where we're going. We've got a cute little Will trying to find his way. <laughs> Fucking life. Have you ever seen a horse sitting? <laughs> have you? <laughs> a horse has never had a better day than this place. Look how cute our lunch spot is today. Literally, this place is so fucking cute. This is like exactly how I imagined Alaska. So. Outside of our Airbnb. Hello, little guy. Okay, it's time. We made it. We 
made it onward. We're in the car. We're going forward. 626. Honestly, out the door with a great time. Headed right down to the water. Out to Bordeaux. Oh. Going over some bumps right now currently, but heading to the beast of the ocean, of the sea, and then we're and look going at the, out this view. Two hours into the ocean. Oh. How's it been? It's honestly been everything that I was hoping for. We love it here. We're moving here. We're, we're probably not, but it's really fucking cool. We've gone fishing. It's Coming really cool. So we're, fish. We're, sh we're shipping back some fish. We've gone fishing three full days now, and we are going to come back with like 30 something fillets of salmon and halibut that we caught. personally caught with our own hands. Filleted. Filleted. We the like, thing. we're like official fishermen. Pretty cool. Now what are we doing? Last day. Now, yeah, ending with a bang. Um, grabbing a coffee, we've got a four hour drive and then we are going on a float plane to go see the mountains and to go see, to go cruise around and land on a lake. We're going on a float plane to see Denali in Alaska. Let's go. But first, coffee. Coffee. Okay, well, we're officially so bummed because we woke up at 6 a.m., well, 7 a.m., and we were driving to Anchorage to catch our float plane to go see Denali. It was like our big highlight of the end of the trip, and they just canceled because of the weather. So now we're exploring and- Coincidentally, <laughs> just stumbled upon our own float plane. <laughs> our should, own private lake. Should we maybe take it for a spin on our own? Look how fucking beautiful. So now this is what we're doing for the day. Alright guys, it's official. We do love, it looks, it looks like I'm raining over you, making it rain. Alright bitches, Alaska's fucking sick, literally. We love it. We love it. Come here, come here, come here. Do whatever you can. Come to this amazing place! Bye.